Welcome everyone to the University of Oregon. I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and I'm thrilled to show you this gorgeous campus and talk to some real students about their unique experiences, aspirations, and involvement right here. I'm standing inside the UO's amazing Student Welcome Center. The UO is a large public research university home to 22,000 students and located in Eugene, Oregon. UO is smack in the center of the city, but this campus is flush with green, surrounded by trees, and has the beautiful Willamette River running right through it. The UO has the resources needed to prepare its students for almost any career path they choose. So without further ado, let's uncover what makes the UO such an extraordinary university. And let's hear why so many ducks have love for their nest. This is gonna be a very special episode, everyone. Welcome to the University of Oregon. This is the College Tour. Let's get to it, you all ready? Now let's meet Piper. She's a senior studying biology and chemistry. Piper conducts research on campus and is excited to tell us about the many opportunities she found in the UO's stellar science programs. You're up, Piper. Thanks for that introduction. I grew up just an hour and a half away from Eugene and my older brother attended UO. When I came to visit him, I was immediately welcomed into the warm community and impressed by the amazing facilities they had for my field of interest. After receiving an incredible scholarship, I was sold. What really impressed me was the research facilities they had for the natural sciences, which is what I knew I wanted to study. I was able to get involved into research early on during my freshman year in the Bradshaw Holzapfel Lab in the Institute of Ecology and Evolution. Since then, I've been exposed to groundbreaking research and I'm currently working on my thesis, which focuses on the existence of cryptic ancestral genes affecting a mosquito's ability to bite. I'm looking forward to finishing up data collection and defending my thesis later on this winter. Through the Career Center, I was able to find a summer internship where I had the opportunity to shadow surgeons and conduct clinical research. As a result, I'm now a published author in a peer-reviewed medical journal. And outside of the natural sciences, I have branched out to become president of a hip hop club. University of Oregon is a member of the Association of American Universities, one of only two in the Pacific Northwest, which is a testament to the strength and value of research occurring here. Additionally, any student can get involved in research, not just those in the natural sciences. The opportunities in the natural sciences that UO provides prepare students for a career of their choosing after graduation. As I reflect back on my time here in preparation for applying to medical school, I'm grateful for all that UO has provided me in these past three years. That's my story, so back to you, Alex. Piper, thank you, that was amazing. It's great you've been able to get hands-on experience doing research at the UO. I've had my fair share of mosquito bites racing around the world and now have a whole new respect for those bugs. It's inspiring to hear all you've accomplished in such a short amount of time. Sounds like you are set for the future. Take care. Next up, we've got Gemma. Gemma is a senior studying social science teaching and black studies. She's excited to talk about her time mentoring students through orientation programs and how she's prepared herself for her dream career. Take it away, Gemma. Thanks for the intro, Alex. Growing up, I always knew I wanted to help people but was never really sure how. It wasn't until I experienced firsthand the impact that teachers can have in students' lives that I decided to pursue education. Currently, I'm studying general social science teaching and black studies here at the U of O. Through my amazing student leadership opportunities here with student orientation programs, I've had the ability to both meet and mentor incoming students. As a first-generation student of color, I know how scary this transition can be, but the university has so many amazing resources to help you navigate your college experience. Through the various academic advising and career centers here on campus, you can meet with both staff and student peers to help map out your academic plan with focus on your career aspirations after graduation. Being able to use my first-hand experience to ease the worries of incoming students and their families slash supporters has given me so many amazing skills that I'll be able to use in and out of the classroom. Not only have I been able to really focus on facilitating and supporting students, but also my public speaking and overall confidence as a leader here at the UO. 
and I've been able to incorporate some fun along the way as well. I'm currently a part of Divisi, which is the women's identified a cappella group here on campus, and I've also been a part of the UO women's rugby team. There's a little bit of everything here on campus. No matter what you're interested in, you'll be able to find it here at the U of O. My time working with incoming students has definitely helped me get ready for my career in the classroom. Thanks for hanging out with me, everyone. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Gemma. It's great to see that the help you give incoming students also gives you the experience you need for your future as a teacher. All students, by the way, have access to mentors like Gemma, as well as professional staff for career and academic advising on campus, and even a whole building dedicated to those services, the very one where Gemma was joining us from today. Thanks again, Gemma. Okay, everyone, let's meet Jonah. He is a senior studying public relations and sports business and is coming to us today from the Many Nations Longhouse, where many of the UO's Native American community gather. The University of Oregon is located on the Kalapuya Ilahi, the traditional homelands of the Kalapuya people. Today, Jonah will be discussing diversity at the UO and the Center for Multicultural Academic Excellence. You're on, Jonah. Alex, you're the man. Thank you so much. Growing up in Eugene with limited resources, college wasn't really in the books for me. But after receiving multiple scholarships from the University of Oregon, I've been able to explore all opportunities that have come my way on this campus. And one of those big opportunities for me has been becoming the president of the only multicultural fraternity on this campus, age six. And as president, one of my main focuses has been meeting the needs of my community in various efforts with my brothers. And on top of that, something that's very important to us is brotherhood and creating a sense of belonging which is something I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to find on this campus. But the university has plenty of organizations, resources, and programs where you'll be able to find your own space. A great resource me and my friends use is the CMAE, the Center for Multicultural Academic Excellence, who promotes student retention and persistence for historically underrepresented and underserved populations in our community. And outside of academics, you can engage with one of our six multicultural centers or join one of our 25 diverse student unions that we have here on campus. The college education is more than just learning skills for a job. Being able to connect with others and stay involved on campus is key. And being on campus, unique opportunities are always falling into your lap. Like you could be a reporter for our very own Duck TV, or you could spin this as a DJ in the radio station under the EMU. Personally though, I like to take my bike down 13th and poke around the bike pass around Odson to clear my head and view all the beautiful nature that this campus has to offer. Imagining yourself where you want to be before you actually arrive is how to be successful. But being at a place that encourages that imagination is just as important. And for me, the university has given me the tools to spark that imagination in myself. And on that note, back to you, Alex. Well said, Jonah. The UO community continues to grow, and the UO is providing a lot of opportunities and resources to ensure students feel included. With six multicultural centers and 25 diverse student unions, it sounds like all ducks have great spaces to connect. Love to see it, and thanks for sharing your story. Now let's check in with Audrey. Audrey is a senior studying human physiology with minors in chemistry and business administration. Audrey loves to stay active and explore the outdoors. And she's eager to share how she fulfills these passions at the UO. Take us on an adventure, Audrey. Thanks so much, Alex. Growing up in Oregon, so much of my childhood was spent exploring the outdoors and constantly staying active. I knew that when I was picking a college, I really wanted to keep these two things in mind. I also had a love for science and the human body, which led me to study human physiology and become a teaching assistant in the cadaver lab. When I first came to campus, I also joined the club soccer team. I like to think of club sports as the perfect median point between intramural and division one soccer. I've been playing soccer since I was five, so knowing that I could continue to play at U of O persuaded me to go even more. Right in the middle of campus, you'll find the Student Rec Center. I love staying active by attending cycling and yoga classes, using the equipment, or just hanging out in the hot tub. And for those days when I really want to de-stress and unwind, I'll go to the Duck Nest. 
And just a mile off campus near Autzen Stadium, you can find Pree's Running Trail. I often will grab a friend and go for a run or rent a piece health bike and explore the many miles of trails that run along the Willamette River. And just a quick 15 minute drive from campus is this spot right here, Spencer Butte. I love hiking up all the way up to the top and seeing the full city of Eugene. This is a hike that's done by so many ducks and I'm sure you'll meet many cute canine friends along the way. And for all my winter sports lovers out there, don't worry, the U of O has got you covered. Through the outdoor program, students can get discounted lift tickets and rides up to the mountain. We're also able to rent snowboards, camping gear, and kayaks to fulfill all our outdoor adventures any season of the year. In my last year as a duck, I hope I'm able to make some lifelong memories and I'll be forever thankful that I picked this school. No matter where you end up, make sure you're always getting outside every day and being active. And as always, go Ducks. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Audrey. Seems like there's something for every athlete and adventurer to enjoy at the Student Rec Center or through the outdoor program. I might have to lace up my hiking boots and check out some of those trails myself. Sounds exhilarating. Up next is Natasha. She's a senior studying public relations with a minor in sports business. Natasha is a huge sports fan, and she is here to tell you about athletics on the UO campus. She's at Hayward Field, one of the world's finest track and field venues and the birthplace of Nike Innovation. Natasha, ready, set, go. Thanks, Alex. What's up, y'all? I've been a huge sports fan my entire life. I knew I absolutely had to attend a college with great teams and an amazing sports atmosphere. I knew the University of Oregon would be exciting to attend as a fan, but also as a student hoping to work in the sports industry. UO is constantly ranked one of the best in the nation in football, men's and women's basketball, track and field, and softball, just to name a few. Every sporting event is an opportunity for fun, lifelong memories. I'm an intern with our athletic department where I gain first-hand experience in sports operations. Our nationally recognized teams provide us the opportunity to work behind the scenes and support our athletic programs. UO has world-class facilities and uniforms for every sport. Our wide range of sports success gives us an entire year packed with incredible games and events. At Oregon, you not only have the greatest excitement as a fan, but you also learn from unique sports internships that can only happen here. The University of Oregon is the place to be for college sports. Whether I'm walking across the bridge to Autzen for a football game, or I'm working the Olympic trials at Hayward Field with my fellow interns, there is always sports to see and ducks to cheer on. Oregon athletics are by far one of the best in the country. Our Ducks find success in numerous sports and give us the greatest year-round fan experience. I've been able to further my interest in sports and explore new career paths while working for our exceptional athletic programs. The University of Oregon is the place to be for every game day for any sport. Go Ducks! Back to you, Alex. Natasha, that was great. I'm glad sports lovers like you get to have fun rooting for the Ducks and finding careers in athletics. I'll definitely have to check out the next big game on campus. The student athletes are knocking it out of the park here. That was fantastic. All right, everyone, now let's meet Gabby. She is a junior studying business administration with a concentration in marketing and a minor in Spanish. Gabby, you are on. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. When searching for colleges, I had no idea where I wanted to go. What I did know was that I wanted to go further from home so I can be in a new, exciting place to be more independent and find adventure. After touring the University of Oregon, from the academics to the amazing school spirit, I fell in love with everything it had to offer. The Lundquist College of Business stood out to me especially, and I knew I wanted to major in business after hearing all about it. The college is ranked among the top 30 public business schools in the country. Now I'm a mentor for the Lundquist Flight School, setting up new business students for success. Lundquist has so many resources, such as Moore Career Center, Product Tutoring Center, and tons of business clubs to join. 
I especially love being part of the International Business Association. I've met people from all over the world. And the Lundquist College of Business has a top three green MBA program. MBA students are well prepared in environmental issues, sustainability, and social responsibility for a career in the green job market. Oregon is also a worldwide leader in sports and outdoor product education and research, offering a master's degree in sports product management. I know I've made a great decision choosing the U of O. I've had the time of my life here in Oregon, gathering knowledge from my courses and meeting some amazing people along the way. We can't wait to see you on campus where you can start your own story. That's all from me, back to you, Alex. Thanks, Gabby. Wow, with all those resources at your fingertips, you are definitely gonna be prepared for the competitive job market that awaits you after graduation. No doubt your career will take flight. Take care. Now it's time for us to meet Jayla. She's a senior studying human physiology and planning public policy and management. Research is super important to her, and she's here to share with us her experience studying the natural sciences. Jayla is at the Knight campus, where the UO scientific discoveries turn into the medicines and technologies we all will be using soon. Jayla, it is all yours. What's up, y'all? And thanks, Alex, for the intro. As a child growing up, I was really curious, wanting to know more about the world around me. I needed to be someplace that I could explore. The University of Oregon was that place for me. The emphasis the UL places on research allows me to dive in and explore my interests. I am currently studying human physiology in the Department of Natural Sciences within the College of Arts and Sciences. I came into college thinking I knew exactly what I wanted to do, and that couldn't have been further from the truth. The University of Oregon prides itself in letting students be curious, make mistakes, and change their minds. There are so many programs to choose from and lots of ways for students to get involved. I also volunteer at the University Health Services Building. What I love about the natural sciences is that faculty share their excitement for research with students and provide so many opportunities for them to get involved. And here at the Nat campus, students can tap into new opportunities in applied science and engineering as well. Even outside of academics, the University of Oregon gives you so many opportunities to discover what you love. Our campus offers over 300 different clubs and organizations to get involved in. My time here at the University of Oregon has been something I will never forget. I have grown so much as a student and young adult. The person that I am leaving you, Oregon, is so much stronger, confident, and well-rounded than the person I was entering. Thank you all so much, and back to you, Alex. Wow, what awesome opportunities for students both inside and outside of the classroom. And the Knight Campus is definitely where innovation is taken to the next level. Thanks again, Jayla. That was fantastic. Okay, now let's throw an O over to Riley and Brent. They are twin brothers in their junior year studying business administration with concentrations in operational business analytics and entrepreneurship. These global scholars just returned from a summer in Italy and are ready to share their international adventures with us all. Thanks for the introduction, Alex. We were big fans of the UO growing up, so when we started our search for potential universities, we knew UO was the right choice. We want to study business and be a part of the Robert E. Clark's Honors College. We attended an information session through the university's Global Education Oregon, and we're excited to study abroad. We've always had the desire to travel and learn more about other cultures. After talking to our academic advisors and the Global Education Oregon staff, we decided to study wine marketing in Siena, Italy for our summer term. While there, we studied sustainable marketing, intercultural communication, and wine management. Our in-class projects replicated a hands-on, practical business experience. We traveled throughout Italy and learned the culture, the history, and the cuisine of many Italian regions. This program is just one of hundreds offered at University of Oregon. Whether you're looking for an internship, a language program, or to study within your major, Global Education Oregon can help you reach your goals and organize a plan. And with the launch of UO's new School of Global Studies and Languages in the College of Arts and Sciences, the UO is opening up even more doors to be more globally minded, learn new languages, and find solutions to some of the world's greatest challenges. 
We knew our time at Oregon was going to be amazing, but the diversity and opportunities we were offered far exceed our expectations. Aside from international travel, we are also part of the Run Club and the Warsaw Business Club. We've built incredible memories in the classroom, studying abroad, and cheering on our ducks at sporting events. There is no better place than Oregon. And as always, Go, Go Ducks! Okay, so who wouldn't want to study wine marketing in the Tuscany region of Italy? Now that's an international class project that I could get behind. And that's only one of many opportunities for these ducks to take flight around the world. Thanks, you too. Up next is Connor, a junior studying product design. He's here to show us why the UO School of Design isn't your average place to unleash your creativity. Connor, please paint us a picture of what it's all about. Hey folks, for as long as I can remember, I've always loved designing and assembling things. From building Legos in my room as a kid, to going on to discover woodworking in my dad's shop, this sort of hands-on creativity is what I wanted to structure my career around. When choosing a college, there are a few different things I was looking for. I wanted that big school experience without feeling like just another number, a field of study that combined my interests, an active student body, elite sports teams, and a nationally recognized school. After narrowing down my search, it was clear that University of Oregon fit the bill. I chose to major in product design because it's a good balance between engineering and design and for the exposure it gave me to 3D modeling and digital media production. There are many other areas of study within the UO College of Design, such as art and tech, public administration, architecture, and art history, just to name a few. If you want a more hands-on opportunity to practice and learn, the UO offers many student jobs in a variety of fields. I chose to work as a videographer for the UO's Strategic Communications Department, as well as a motion graphics intern for UO Athletics. Both jobs have major crossover with product design and have been incredible, eye-opening experiences that have accelerated my learning in the field. The biggest benefit of going to the UO is that there are many ways to learn who and what you want to become while in college, and you're guaranteed to meet other people with interests similar to yours. That's it for me. Stay classy, Alex. Incredible, Connor. From art and tech to public administration, you have really spread your wings and expanded all of our vision of what it means to be a design student. For a truly hands-on experience, this school definitely has a ton to offer. Thanks again, Connor. Okay, everyone, let's meet Izzy. She's a senior studying education with a minor in special education. She is here at the Moss Street Children's Center to talk to us about her aspirations for becoming a teacher. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. As long as I can remember, I've always known I wanted to be a teacher. I come from a very long line of educators. Before I was even in kindergarten, I often spent the day in my grandmother's second grade classroom. I grew up cheering for the Ducks alongside my alumni father, so the University of Oregon was at the top of my list when I began my college search process. I was so happy to find out that we're home to one of the most highly ranked education programs in the country. Our education program is ranked top six among public universities. Our special education program is ranked top three. And as a college of education, we are one of the top research institutions in the country. Research and hands-on experience are at the core of our program. Research methods, models, curriculum, and assessment tools that were developed by the UO's College of Education are used in more than 29,000 schools internationally. It's such a surreal experience to read about research in my textbooks and see that it was developed right here by professors that I see in the classroom every single day. One of the best things about the University of Oregon is how we have all the resources of a larger university while still maintaining the sense of community that you find at smaller universities. From field study to our school spirit, the possibilities here at U of O are endless. The hands-on experience that I've gained here, especially working remotely with youth, has helped prepare me for the future, not only to enter a master's program and obtain my teaching license, but to have a classroom of my own one day. There's nowhere in the world that I would have rather made my nest than right here at the University of Oregon. That's all from me. Throwing it back to you, Alex. 
Wow, Izzy, what a great story. I'm sure that students will be proud to call you their teacher someday. Thank you for sharing a bit of that dream with us. Good luck after graduation. Next up, we have Jeremy. He is in his last year studying journalism and media studies here at the UO, and he just got back in town after studying in Ghana for the summer. A true storyteller by nature, Jeremy is ready to share some of his journey through photography. Thanks for the intro, Alex. My path to the UO has been a long and wild ride. I had to work hard after high school before I decided to be a journalist and I worked through community college before transferring to the University of Oregon. Being a transfer student, I wasn't sure how I would fit in, but I made friends, enjoyed all my classes, and put in the hard work I needed to chase my dreams. My professors at the University of Oregon and the School of Journalism and Communication keep me on track and push me. They connected me with other professors, helped me enroll in classes, and provided me with the tools I needed to keep moving forward. As an SOJC student, you're always working from one project to the next, either by yourself, with a professor, or in a group. You have access to the J-Cage, filled with equipment that you will need to tell any story that you want to tell. And you've got access to the writing labs 24-7 where I, and a lot of students, spend plenty of time grinding on our projects. If you want some on-the-job experience with the student publications, you can get involved with OR Magazine, Ethos, The Daily Emerald, Duck TV, Science and Memory, or Media in Ghana, to name a few. I got a ton of hands-on experience and adventure and built my portfolio with the programs here at the University of Oregon. No matter what major you choose, you'll find people with the same passion for what they're doing as you do. I've been traveling, doing my dream job, telling stories with people who truly love what they do. I'm proud to be an SOJC student and work among such an amazing group of people. Hope to see you around campus. Back to you, Alex. They say pictures are worth a thousand words. Jeremy, your camera has created a novel. Thank you for sharing those experiences with us and for showing potential ducks out there that the UO can help them tell their stories as well. Get ready to meet Jane. She is a junior majoring in sociology and she's gonna talk about the impact that research has on her studies here at the university. Jane, take it away. Hey y'all, my name is Jane and I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado. And I chose the University of Oregon because I felt like I was more than just a number. In other words, I was a person before I was a student. And now I'm here studying sociology and art. Being a part of the social sciences department is something I've been really grateful for. I've always loved challenging myself academically and my peers and professors have made that really easy to do. There are quite a few majors to choose from. Some of our most popular are economics and general social science, but I found my home in the sociology department. I've always loved studying the world and the people in it, and lucky for me, that dream has become a reality here. I'm able to work with classmates who also want to deep dive into that research as well. Everyone in this department is incredibly passionate about what they're doing, and that's what connects us. Whether it's through the sociology club or a history class is completely up to you. I always thought research was something that only graduate students could do. But here at the University of Oregon, research is ingrained in you the second you step foot on campus. In fact, three quarters of our student population is involved in research. It's not just for STEM majors either, but for all of us social science majors as well. My classmates and I get to research and study underlying social issues or how one portion of society functions, all while connecting that data directly to the community around us. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do in college, but I knew I wanted to work with everyone around me. And something that makes the UO so special is just that, the people. I'm able to study what I love while having fun and making meaningful connections. And that's something that I'm really grateful for. But that's it for my story. Throwing it back to you, Alex. Thank you, Jane, for showing us that research doesn't only belong in the lab. Here at the university, anyone can engage in research. From biology and chemistry to sociology, there really is a chance for every student to explore what interests them. And that is awesome. Thanks again. Next, let's move over to the School of Music and Dance, where we will meet Natalie. She's a senior who's drumming her way to two degrees, a bachelor's in music percussion performance and a BA in music theory. Natalie is gonna tell us why this school is a rocking place for students to be.
Thanks for that introduction, Alex. From a young age, I had this dream of playing in an orchestra, not piano, but percussion. And so freshman year of high school, I joined band and knew that this is exactly what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. The University of Oregon was the only school I applied to because I knew that this was a school for me. After auditioning at the School of Music and Dance, I felt completely at home in the percussion section. The professors we have here are internationally renowned. Here in Eugene, we have an amazing music scene for all genres. Because of the connections I have at the UO, not only am I a student, but I'm able to make my music a full-time career. I've played with the Eugene Concert Choir, the Elsinore Theater, and Orchestra Next, a group that plays live music with the Eugene Ballet Company. But the UO doesn't just excel in music performance. We offer degrees in music history, music theory, jazz performance, pop music, dance, and so much more. The UO offers amazing performance opportunities for non-majors too. We have three rock and acapella groups you can join, various dance programs, no matter your experience, and opportunities to enjoy almost 300 concerts and events each year. I've also been invited to travel internationally as a tour percussionist. Because of the amazing camaraderie we have here, it was so easy for me to get involved. I will cherish all the memories I've made. Next for me is a lifetime of happiness, success, and personal growth, all thanks to the opportunities and networking provided by the UO. That's all from me. Take it back, Alex. Awesome, Natalie. Whether you are a musician or not, you can definitely get down with the programs in the School of Music and Dance. That was fantastic, Natalie. Take care. Time to head over to Zach. Zach is a sophomore majoring in linguistics and Japanese, and he can't wait to tell us about his experience at the UO's College of Arts and Sciences. The floor is all yours, Zach. Thanks, Alex. Hello, everyone. The University of Oregon was always my first choice. The students and faculty are so warm and inviting, and an environment where we could be open, honest, and friendly with each other was very important to me, and I felt that from the moment I stepped on campus. One aspect of the university that has been very important to my learning is not only how invested the faculty are in their fields of study, but how interested they are in sharing that knowledge and getting students excited about their particular fields. Many of the faculty are conducting research with undergraduate students, something that I'm very excited to be a part of starting this year. When it comes to the humanities and linguistics in particular, this kind of research combining many different fields such as sociology, psychology, and linguistics can help us understand each other and make the world a better place, which is a large driving force behind humanities research here at the University of Oregon. Humanities at the UO will open up a wide range of career possibilities for me. From being able to work at a Japanese company abroad, to translation work, or even being able to work full-time researching as a professor, this field helps me understand the different perspectives and ways in which people think and express themselves. Although my college career has taken me in many exciting directions, I'm now able to visualize what I want out of a career for myself. Thanks to the humanities in particular, I now have a plan and I'm excited to make a difference in the lives of people, both foreign and domestic. Thank you so much for listening to my story. Now back to you, Alex. Thanks, Zach. The humanities certainly do provide an opportunity for students to go into a wide range of careers after graduating. What we got, though? Okay, let's meet Jared. Jared is a senior studying math and computer science with a minor in music technology. And he's here to share with us his experience in the Clark Honors College at the UL. Jared, please enlighten us all. Hey, thanks Alex. So when I started looking at schools, there were a lot of different paths that I wanted to pursue. I have widely varied interests, so it was important for me to find somewhere that I could take part in diverse and interdisciplinary study that reflects all of my passions. I am currently a math and computer science major with a minor in music technology, and I'm also enrolled in the Clark Honors College. 
Taking classes in the Honors College has been an incredibly rewarding experience for me, as these small class sizes and intimate, discussion-based lectures have allowed me to dive in deep into the topics that I'm passionate about. The opportunities that the Honors College provides for engaging with course content on a deeper level have also been incredibly rewarding, and I am extremely grateful for all my Honors professors who have acted as both my advisors and guides throughout my academic career. The Honors College has also been a really great resource for me in helping me to find additional scholarship, funding, and research opportunities, and I'm so grateful to be surrounded by so many fellow students who are equally as engaged and passionate about their fields of research. Speaking of research, research has been a huge part of my time at UO and was actually what led me to find out about the Accelerated Masters in Computer and Information Science program and the Reservation of Graduate Credit programs, both of which allow students to begin earning graduate credit during their undergrad careers. And with these programs, I plan to then continue on to pursue either my Masters or PhD in Computer Science. I'm really grateful for all the opportunities that UO and the Honors College have provided me, and I think it's been really great to see how no matter what your interests are, there's always a way to combine the things you love to make something unique and new. So that's all from me. Thanks, Alex. Back to you. Thanks, Jared. It sounds like the Honors College is a great choice for students who might be looking for that small college vibe, but with all the resources you can get from a large research university. Now, Honors students can connect with their professors, peers, and find amazing academic opportunities just like Jared. Okay, everyone, let's meet Amy. She's in her senior year studying public relations here at the UO. Amy will be talking about this stunning campus nestled in the Willamette Valley and its proximity to some of the most breathtaking landscapes here in the Pacific Northwest. Amy, please take it away. Hey everyone, I'm so excited to share my experience here at UO. I grew up just outside Portland and wanted to stay in state for the college experience, but wasn't sure what career I wanted to pursue or what to expect coming to UO. Where I've ended up is completely different from what I expected, and I'm so happy it all played out the way it did. I've met so many people here who inspired me to find what I'm passionate about, which I've discovered as being outdoors. Eugene is definitely a unique place. There are hiking trails, climbing gyms, parks, and the Willamette River. And if you go a little bit out of town, there's waterfalls, mountains for skiing, and the beach. Eugene is just a few hours away from Smith Rock, my favorite place in Oregon. I'm only a two hour drive from Portland, one hour from the coast, a few hours from skiing in Bend and exploring the redwoods down in Northern California. Living in the Pacific Northwest has given me the opportunity to pursue self-reflection and figure out what I love to do. The UO prepared me for my past two internships, which helped me find balance in my life. Feeling confident about my experiences allows me to focus my energy on my passions, which I'm so excited to keep exploring. Had I not chosen to go to UO three years ago and met the people I did, I wouldn't be where I am today. I learned to go with what feels right and be open to new experiences. Everybody's college experience is different and mine is a lot different than expected, but I wouldn't want it any other way. Back to you, Alex. Amy, thank you for showing us around this beautiful state of Oregon. What an amazing place to call home while you're studying. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to hit those hiking trails. But before we do, let's learn a bit more about this university. Thanks again for that. Next up is Kara. She's a senior studying product design with minors in art, entrepreneurship, food studies, and she can't wait to tell you about student life and how she got involved here on campus. Welcome, Kara. You are on. Hey, everyone. When I started looking for a college, I had no idea what I wanted to be. I knew I was interested in being creative and trying everything. After touring the University of Oregon and seeing all there was to do here, I knew this was the place for me. My first week on campus, I pursued two on-campus jobs, a theater stitcher and a social media digital strategist, and got both. Being a theater stitcher is where I was first exposed to the incredible world of design. The designers I worked under taught me more about myself, my interests, and my dreams. Between my work experience and taking engaging art classes at UO is where I found my passion for product design. I've also taken advantage of two study abroad opportunities at the UO, the pre-freshman program in London and the food studies program in Siena, Italy. Both of these programs gave me the opportunity to create lifelong connections with new people and places. All of these on-campus opportunities have been made possible because of the Accessible Education Center at the UO. 
I have needed accommodations and support throughout my educational journey. The AEC provides support and ensures I have the tools I need to be successful. One of my favorite things about UO is the many ways to get involved on campus. The ASUO Street Fair is one of my favorite events. The whole community comes together in support of food and fun, and 13th Avenue is lined with students and vendors all day long. When I chose to come to the University of Oregon, I never could have guessed how much I would learn and experience. The UO has been a place where I've been able to gain hands-on experience, both on the job and in the classroom, while working on my dreams. That's my story. Back to you, Alex. Wow, Kara, it's so cool you found your passion for product design by putting yourself out there and using campus resources. Thanks for sharing your journey. Sounds like getting involved in student life has its perks, especially when those perks include street fair food. Sign me up, please. Thanks again for that. Okay, let's meet Erica. She's a senior studying business administration with a concentration in marketing. She's here to tell us about the perks and fun of living in the residence halls and how she used her passion for business to connect with people on campus. The floor is all yours, Erica. Thanks, Alex, and hey, everyone. I grew up in California and knew that I wanted to leave to experience something new. Although I never visited the campus before committing, University of Oregon was a really easy choice for me because of the wide range of programs offered, great athletic teams, and a ton of amenities for students to enjoy. My freshman year, I lived in an academic residential community, which we refer to as ARCs. I was in the business arc where I got to live and go to classes with students in my major. Living in the residence halls was super fun and definitely a highlight of my college experience. Although choosing housing can seem difficult and a little scary, don't worry. UO is here to help all students find the best housing option for you. We have 10 different residence halls to choose from with more than 15 ARCs. UO offers academic support for all students living in the residence halls. We have multiple study lounges, faculty members living in the residence halls, and faculty fellows who are a great resource if you have any questions or just want to talk. The study lounges are really nice if you're up working late and don't want to disrupt your roommate, or if you're looking for a fun place to study and hang out with friends. Not only does UO care about students' success academically, but they also want to see you excel outside the classroom. The campus hosts all kinds of events and activities, such as end-of-the-term pizza parties and solving escape room competitions. UO is more than just attending classes. It's about finding your place within our tight-knit community, studying what you're passionate about, and building long-lasting relationships, all while being a duck. I am forever grateful to be a part of the flock. That's it from me. Go Ducks, and back to you, Alex. Thanks, Erica. Sounds like there's plenty of opportunities to make friends on campus, meet others who share your interests, and find your spot in the flock. The UO community is big, yet you'll still find your own small groups of friends for life right here. Thanks for sharing. Okay, now let's head over to meet Sue Hill. He's a senior studying advertising with a minor in entrepreneurship. Sue Hill is also a major foodie. Who's better to show us all the sweet snacks and meals the UO has to offer? Take it away, Sue Hill. What's good, everybody? I came to the University of Oregon because I was impressed with a wide variety of the programs that were available here and not at any other schools. I'm talking the location, the culture, and then the environment were all motivating factors for why I decided to come to the U of O. But aside from that, the food here is incredible. At the EMU, there's an abundance of dining options. Pizza or an acai bowl, a comforting bowl of soup and grilled cheese, or maybe you're looking for something gluten-free and vegan. Maybe you just want some coffee and a place to study. No problem, our 14 dining locations offer you a place to kick back, meet up, hide out, and fuel up with locally sourced seasonal ingredients. You can practice your own culinary skills at one of our community kitchens, or come to Unthank Hall, which is also home to our Student Welcome Center. The campus has all kinds of foods at our stadiums. Nothing better than some crispy fries at a basketball game. Or you can link up after a football game at Hot Spots on campus. These spots are meant to bring people together and celebrate the fun parts of college over food. Oregon has taught me about the power of community, and day by day, I'm learning to cherish it that much more. 
In a world that continues to go more and more online, I hope to continue to forge real life relationships and make meaningful memories that last. All right, Alex, back to you. That was awesome, Suhail. The food scene at the UO is incredible, and it's great to hear the dining halls use locally sourced ingredients. Amazing. I'm looking forward to grabbing something to eat and kicking it on campus as soon as I finish up here. Thanks again. Last, but certainly not least, it wouldn't be a proper campus tour if we didn't introduce you to the one, the only, the doc. He is a foul of very few words, actually none at all, because he doesn't speak. But his well-toned wings from doing so many push-ups at football games tell the story of the UO's success, not only on the playing field, but also in the classroom. Wow, Doc, I can see why you're loved by so many people and one of the most recognized college mascots in the entire nation. Sports Illustrated even ranked you second among the greatest mascots in college football history. Now that's something we're shaking your tail feathers for. Thanks again for that. The University of Oregon, everyone, this was such a fun tour. I'd like to thank all the amazing, passionate students we got to meet today for sharing their stories. Looks like they're all set to achieve incredible things here at the UO and beyond. What a great group of students and what a wonderful campus. Well, that's all the time I have for now, but I highly encourage you all to check out more about the University of Oregon for yourself. This place is incredible. Trust me when I say it's even better in person. Bye everyone, until next time.